Hey everybody, it's John from Hockey Cards Only, and today is Tuesday morning. I hope your Monday was great, and today is looking up. So, for your entertainment, I have a box, garage sale box we found on eBay. We'll cover up the address, and I've already taken a quick sneak peek, not touched anything, but it looks pretty darn good. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, from the very middle, we have this Cam Neely glittery card. I'm gonna set this aside, because that's an insert, and I don't really know where to begin. It looks like we have some cards that are sleeved, so let's just start grabbing these. See what we have, a Mike Madonna rookie. Set those kind of over there. I'm gonna do my best to not hit any corners. It looks like we're not doing bad here. These are all glittery uh, insert cards. So I have a feeling what's in here is not necessarily picked through to where there's just base cards, which is usually my fear. It's been it's happened before. Let's grab this cool box of Pinnacle. It looks like it's been opened and put away. Here's Dominic Hasek right on top. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to try to get everything kind of out of here. They packed it in good. I see a basketball card. Be cool to find a Michael Jordan or a Shaq or something. Here's a Doug Gilmore, a Brian Leach, a Tony Amante, Stephen Lebanu. These are all, man, needing sleeves. Those are kind of special edition cards here. I'll show you a regular one. Well, this is not a regular one. So far, all of them are the glittery. That's not normal. That's not, that's like a parallel set. Um, too bad these aren't in great condition. Oh man, there's more. Look at this. Cool, finally some stuff we're familiar with. Here's tops, and then here is Opeachy or Tops Premier. They have the same logo on both. So here's some Opeachy. All right, we'll put those there. What I'm gonna do is just start grabbing chunks if I can. Setting it down in chunk style. It looks like these have been sitting for a minute, everybody. You like that sound? That's not my favorite sound. These we might have to. Here's what a regular card looks like, everybody, without the uh, flashy, flashy. See that? Same, uh, same cards. Hopefully these aren't like special edition. Oh man. Okay. Mm, they're not doing great. I'll set these over here. Usually, just by flexing them a little bit, does quite a bit. I need to get this whole chunk. I don't know what's in here. Man, these are stuck. Have you ever seen them stuck like this? Ugh. 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 It's like this top area got wet or something. There we go. So if they're small like this, I feel like I can free them a little bit better. We're still not loving that. Yeah, that's not good on them. I know that, everybody. Either that or it's going to peel the paint right off. And there's our Dominic Hasek. Here's a... What do you do? It's even bending them. Get that 
Ugh. <laughs> well, that's what happens sometimes. Hopefully not all the cards are like this. Oh man, that one just peeled it. Look at what happens to them. It's not snow on the card. That is peeling. I'm gonna set those kind of in the on the side here. Not worry too much about them. Looks like we have some Donruss and some tops in here though. Here's our Sergey. Unfortunately, that's the Pinnacle. Pinnacle brand Sergey. I'm gonna set those aside for prying apart later. And let's hope that our upper deck aren't stuck together like that. Because we could find some gems in here if we are uh, lucky. You know, maybe some middle 2000s upper deck can get a uh, get some stuff from that. But I think it's going to probably be some pretty rough shaped cards. You know, regardless if they're good or not. Some of these are not in really good shape. I'm going to set these aside for discard also. Okay. Rid of this weird basketball card. Here's a Timu Solani with a sleeve. That's kind of cool. All right. Cecil Fielder. Okay. I'm just going to grab these and just start stacking them on the side here. These are not really stuck together. So that's good. These two, what do we have here? Huh. He never quite made it. Signature moves. Here's a Osgood, some upper deck. Okay, we got some fun stuff in here. Did I just see a Donruss baseball card? That's too bad. That's a. There's the Donruss baseball card. Ha! Randy Johnson. This is HockeyCardsOnly.com. We can't have any baseball in here, but this is a good baseball card, kind of. Not good. I mean, for uh, it's probably the most valuable one in that whole set. So, this is what I was saying is a shame. This is a pinnacle. Uh, it's like a uh, parallel set. So hopefully these aren't all ruined from... Stuck wax syndrome, I don't know what we call this. They're stuck together. But hopefully, hopefully no good card is ruined. That's I guess the main thing. Let's just grab this whole chunk. We're gonna set that chunk right here. We're gonna grab this. What do we have here? Martin Brodeur. Looks like a couple of them in there. Not too bad. Oops, I just knocked over something. Looks like we have some decent stuff to sort through in here. Might take us a minute. There's a lot of cards in here, everybody. A couple more than I thought. What we will be doing is in a, a pre-sort. And that will be getting them separated by brand. And that way we have a better chance of finding anything of value. You know, unfortunately that upper deck card is pretty much ruined. Here's Tom Burrow, so his card's probably one of the more expensive ones in his. So I don't know if these got wet. Uh, that's just too bad. Anyways, I might set those in the discard to review later. Let's grab these. Guess that doesn't want to come out. Those corners are kind of shot, huh? Well, I don't think we paid a lot for this collection. Considering how many cards are in here, I think we're paying a penny a card, if that. So if you're paying a penny a card, I mean, and some of them are damaged, I guess that's what happens. Yeah, these aren't some of my favorite condition here. We'll keep on going though. OK. 
Okay, we're almost to the bottom of it. I'm glad those uh, insert cards were on the top. You know, they're not just crammed in the bottom. All those uh, confetti covered cards from this series. I'm just gonna have to set those like that. Looks like we have a lot of 96, 98, actually 94, 98 era. Seems to be what I'm good at. Or what ends up being out on the market for cheap, I should say, too. In these uh, hand-me-down auctions. Here's Kurt McLean. I have his autograph. Alright. I didn't know they would be in this rough of shape. We'll see if anything's of value in here. Be interesting. Sometimes you get stuff like this and you'll find an old hockey card that the dad or somebody put in and said, oh yeah, we'll just put all of our cards together. I had a set like this and I found a 71 Gordy Howe in it. Couldn't believe it. It was the only old card in the whole box. And it was that really classic uh let's take one last look here i'm gonna set these down hopefully this is not a mess it doesn't look too bad it would be nice if there was the insert cards sitting on the top there's a ray bork so it looks like these are not all the same. See how we have this? And then we have this. They're totally different. So, I'm going to have to start sorting those out. Oh man, everybody, they're stuck like bubble gum. I'm going to be mad if some good cards are ruined. There's not going to generally be a lot of good stuff if it's Pinnacle from 96. But, you know, you'd be mad if the Wayne Gretzky was ruined, wouldn't you? So, anyways, learn from me. Look at your cards before you buy them. There's the Dominic Hoshik. Otherwise, you might be buying kind of junk wax get it junk wax some of them are right we're careful if we're careful you kind of just have to flex them around a little bit and usually that uh, sometimes can you can get away with it let's see what we have here Robert Cron. I'm just gonna be happy to get these all stacked everybody these are coming together lightly, slowly but surely. See that? Man, it'd suck if I had a rookie or a Gretzky. Okay, anyways. Hopefully we're not doing that all video. It looks like we might be. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. That's a shame, everybody. Ugh. Let's see how bad we are. Okay, well, so far that's what we got with this. I'm going to keep this box. I don't know why. Sometimes they have the cards on the back. So I'm going to reset the camera. Okay, let's hope that this is not as bad. 90s wax cards. It is that bad. Ah. Whose rookie is that? Uh, 
Travowski. Ole Travowski. This card is almost ruined. These ones did not get destroyed. These, since they're in chunks like this, let's just get to the bottom of it here. There's Darren McCarty's rookie card. That's too bad. Darren McCarty's quite a funny character. I'm going to set these all over here. The bottom card's kind of covered in a, like a mold or something. Just kind of discard them. And this card on the bottom too. See that? So that one's gone. Well, I'm going to put that in the stack of its own kind. It's kind of nasty. So, 94.95 Pinnacle. We have a bunch of that. Okay, let's like kind of do something fun where they're actually not stuck together. And then that way we can start making a sorting pile. These kind of are stuck together. Set those together. Luckily, all these pinnacles were in their own box. They can kind of take care of them another day. See these? These are all pretty much stuck together. Got something right there. And see these? These are kind of all stuck together, so I'm going to set them right there. These are stuck together. Ugh. I might be able to free them. They're going to be wonky, though. No, that's the Pebble Bury card. Come on, Pebble Bury. give it one last shot. Well, they came off there. We only have a couple cards. Oh, my dog wants out now. Okay. Ah! Oh, look at that. Couldn't save it. This is part of the drawing. This is not. Well, who to get? Who to hurt? Ray Shepard here. There's a Curry. Anyways, we could be fighting these cards all day. So let's, like I keep saying, let's not do that. Put them up there. These are up there, and these are away up there too. Take care of those another day. Are these all stuck together? Not that bad, but yes. I'm gonna make a pile of these stadium tops, stadium club. My bad. These are the uh, next gen of stadium clubs. There's like a really popular 92, 93 stadium club. And they just carried that down the line, and this is a few years later. I think this actually is the next year. 94 is what it says. So this is the next year from those. Okay. So, I'm going to put those there and start making a set. These go there. We'll put score down here. Mayor. Now is this a newer gen? I think these are in they might be the same thing. I'm not quite sure. 
here's upper deck. Oh boy. Let's get these. Oh, there's the Pavel Bure card. Set that aside. I'm going to try to get these apart. There we go. I knew they were barely, barely together. This is going up there. Hmm. Top Stadium Club. We'll do these together. Put that up there. Here's some newer stuff. Dino Cicerelli. These are those Pacific, that Pacific brand. Ron Tugnut. Pat Fallon and Mattis Timonander. And then we also had a Patrick Lalime and a Brett, a Brett Hedekin for the Canucks. Right there. Okay, let's keep sorting. Let's get this done, huh? We see some big names, we can take a quick break. Like a Fedorov, a Gretzky, maybe a Lemieux, a Bure. Maybe in this era we will see a, uh, oh, what's his name, Todd Bertuzzi. I think that would be his rookie year. Here's a Kurt McLean. Adam Graves. So this set's going together fairly nicely here. This goes there. Let's grab another quick stack. Here is Upper Deck Collector's Choice. We'll put those down here. There's Alferson. Peter Nedved. Gary Sutter. Suzuku Kubu. David Reed. Ty Dami. Sean Burke. King. Dino Cicerelli. Sorry, I'm my if my hands in the way. I'm having to like pry these apart. They're barely stuck together, so I can't really slide them in my fingers like like normal. So here's a different pinnacle. It's, oh, see that? I have to set it down. Give it the juice. Oh man, that's just too bad. What do we have? These are hard to handle, everybody. Here we go. And I saw a rookie, Terry Ryan. I don't know who that is. Here's a Sundine. Denter Zamov. Okay. See if I can keep going without having. Here is. I think that's Brian Leach. It doesn't have first names on here, everybody. Leach. Oh, it has it right there. So, Praskal. There's some Donruss. At least these ones aren't stuck together. Jim Carrey, Trevor Linden, Cujo, oh what's this thing, Todd Merchant, huh, it's like a hologram, I'll set it aside, here we have some upper deck, alright Don Russ, get back to the Donruss swing of things. Leaf. I'm going to set that aside. Here's upper deck. I think that was John Van Beesbrook. Here's these classic classic brand cards. I'm going to set I always set those way off to the side. 
They're just a bunch of rookie prospect cards. There's that Leaf card. I believe those are an insert. Here's an Eric Lindros. So that's nice to have in there. Stadium Club checklist and a Stadium Club card. So, so far we have a couple random inserts here. It's not too bad. I'll put those with the insert pile. I'll grab our stack and we're going to keep on trucking. I think these are something I was either going to come back to or slam down on this thing here. It looks like there's only a couple top stadium clubs to contend with here. And then when I get to these blue ones, I'm going to deal with the blue with all these cards later. Because I have a whole bunch of them over there. Okay. We have the score. Oh, these were stuck together too. Aren't they? Do we have collector's choice? There's a nice Ray Bork card. I'm going to set that up here just with the stars. Keep it away from some of these other ones that are kind of really bad shape here. Hear my dog barking. She just went out. Other upper deck. Nordstrom. If we're lucky, we might find like a Young Guns and some of these older upper deck. If we're really lucky, the year will kind of trickle up into the 2000s, kind of like we're, what's happening right now. And we'll get into some... Are these Pacific? These are Pacific. So right now we just have some Pacific stuck together cards. Barely stuck together cards. Down. These are kind of their own little mini stack so far. I don't think we had any other Pacific collection. Ah. So I'm going to set those here. Stadium Club, Upper Deck. Here are the upper deck cards. I'll just set them up here so we can all see them. Score, I'll put up there. These all here are kind of stuck together. I'm just gonna put them with the score. These are the Pacifics. This is an upper deck. Slowly but surely putting Upper Deck together, I have a, uh, a a little bit of each year by now. I think I'm missing some of the middle 2000s, late to middle. I think this is another year score. These are all stuck. That's that. Ugh. there. It's taking a little bit longer than normal. Everything's stuck. Okay, what did we have here? These were Donruss. Those we don't need to worry about. We need to worry about these. No, these are more stuck together. Miller, Gratton. Here's some collector choice. Ray Borg, collector choice. Man, stuck together city. These are more of these pinnacle. Slam them up there. Okay, I'm gonna reset the camera here. All right, I had to get some water. Let's keep on trucking, that's the only way to do it got to kind of keep moving otherwise these are never gonna get sorted Claude Lemieux ultra 
We don't like Claude Lemieux in Detroit. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Stuck together. Trying to figure out which way goes up on a lot of these. These are pretty much toast. Donruss. Here's some weird pinnacle. Here's Dominic Hoshik. Unfortunately, he's... Oh, they came right apart. He came apart. This one did not, though. Came apart now. Oh, come on. Thomas and Anderson, Kron, and Chance, Jim Storm, there's one behind Jim Storm, it's Jay Moore, and Mike Eastwood, I have Mike Eastwood's autograph too, he also played for Western Michigan, I have a hockey stick of his, I don't really like it, it's so darn long and sitting in my cupboard and it's sitting there and it's in my way not my cupboard my closet excuse me all right these are those fleer i hate these fleer cards they're one of my least favorite look at this everybody it's a baseball puzzle card if you don't know about baseball cover puzzle cards go on ebay and type in baseball puzzle card Back to hockey cards, though. Here are late Fleer. Pretty much one of the uglier cards ever made. Com compared to Fleer Ultras from the early 90s, those are sweet. They had like the city on the background. It might have been Leaf. Claude Muse in there. There's at least a Mark the Messier. Okay. That was there. Here's Flare Ultra. Oh, these are all stuck together. It seems to be these things that are the worst out of all of them. I'm going to throw those in the discard pile for later. Here's some Donruss. I should put those right there. That card goes there, and if these come apart, they go with Pinnacle, which is right there. Moving forward, looks like we have more that are kind of stuck together, and we have some shiny cards coming up. These stuck together. Pacific Paramount. Where did I put Pacific? Where did I put Pacific Paramount? They don't have a home. They're going to go right there. Here's one of these Leaf Limited. Okay. I don't know where I put those. Okay. Donruss, Mark Richter. Leaf Limited. These must be their own sort of series. I'm putting them with the inserts. We'll go through them later. Donruss. And then these are the ones that are all kind of stuck together. I'm going to put them there. Okay. Put these, uh, put this here. Stuck together. Okay, we're gonna put this here. Stuck together. I don't know if you can hear my dog down there freaking out. She wants out. I better go let her out again. Oh man, give me a minute. Okay, 
I am back. Let's get back to card sort here. So what I was saying earlier is I have a bunch of these sets started and I will show them all to you in a short episode coming up maybe this week, maybe next week. Um, my goal is to sort through a whole bunch of this stuff. These that are stuck together so good, I am taking them kind of off camera. I'm just going to take these all off camera if they're really bad from now on because this episode is going to get too long. So anywho, these all go up there anyways. What I'm trying to get a, the point across is I have all these archived in kind of like their own, like a whole bunch of stop, top stadium club in one box. So what I'm trying to get at is I already have a lot of each of these already um, collected, okay? And the more collections I buy, the bigger and more starter sets I'm conjoining together. And I should be able to complete kind of a lot of sets uh, and make, I'm trying to be able to make, you know, two, three sets and then have a couple of each card as spares in case anybody needs them. So I'm thinking about using them for obviously the new website that we're possibly going to be launching if the YouTube channel goes well. Um, I should be able to sell these cards, assuming they're not bad like these. Um, we're not going to sell anything folded unless it's obviously shown folded. I mean, we'll have to do X Mint. But, you know, older cards, it's tough to like... They're all, it's all about the condition of them. So it's almost like you have to see the condition of the card. And even these, you'd expect these to almost be mint. Anything 90 and newer, you'd almost expect to be mint, maybe minus a corner, but it's secondhand market. So I'm buying them secondhand. And it, this stuff you can't really get new unless you're buying new cases, which is really hard to do. It's possible, but it's really hard to do. If it was really clean and new, that's what you'd be labeling pack fresh. Pack fresh is straight from the pack. Uh, this is secondhand market. Hopefully the corners are good. Hopefully the uh, surface is not ruined from, you know, some of these will discard. You know, obviously if there's, if they're frosted up bad, you know, I would not feel right selling it when you can, when these aren't real expensive, you know, objects these crappy five ten cent cards you know but there you go here's your Marc Messier and it's snowed up see that surface so what do you do uh, possibly put it I think these will get a set together of these that are not great shape but usually I make that dictation once here's a Forsberg that's a shame. Let's see if I can get these apart. Man, they are still just not coming apart. Well, that's a bummer, everybody. These are pretty cool cards, too. Okay. Next stack. Hopefully we're not all stuck together for a while. It looks like we're doing good. There's that card. Tops there. Timu Solani. Rick Torchier. Score. Newer score. There it is. Collector Choice. Keith to Chuck. Look at that. That might be a. It looks like a, a draft card that up there for a second why I look for collector's choice which is there no totally not he's already the captain at that point in his history okay looks like we have some early collector choice coming off of the press easy here's some score this is a lot of the stuff I grew up with is like your 96 97 collector's choice because they were kind of cheap and 
score because it was kind of cheap. So there we go. There we go. Upside down here. These ones seem to not be stuck together all too bad. Except for these two front cards. There we go. As I'm saying it, right? Closer, Konstantinov, that's good. Ray Shepard, Peter Bondra, that's not a bad card. Mark Bergegiven, Zarli Zalapkowski. Okay, Matt Sundin right there. There's Mark Messier, that's not a bad card. Brad Istenberg, these are stuck together so they're still in my hand. It's a Matt Sundin card so I'm trying to be with it here. Sergey Samsonov, Alferson, and Snow. Cool. Okay, we have Dan Quinn. These ones like to stick together. I don't remember where the pile of these went. I think I'm going to just put them down here, assuming they don't come all apart. Brennan Shanahan in a Whalers uniform. Keith the Chuck in a Jets uniform. Scott Niedemeyer. These I feel like if I had half a stack, I could kind of break these free. I can feel I'm breaking free. It's like taking the cards to the chiropractor. But hey, look. Kind of came apart. Cujo! And it didn't really frost them all too bad. That's the good news. Is, eh, as I speak too soon. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it doesn't really. They come apart better. But I don't think there's much you can do about the frosty surface we're going to have on stuck together cards from the 90s. I guess the only ones that would matter would be if there was like an ultra rare rookie and then it got frosted. I don't believe, I mean I wouldn't sell a $2 card that's frosted, but I mean it's not a big deal if it toss it, if it's messed up, you know what I'm saying? So. These I'm gonna just set aside and grab the next group that looks easy to sort. Hatcher, Joe Niewichuk, John Stumpel, Kelly Hurdley, Kurt McLean in the newer uniform. Nice, pretty cool, huh? We're getting into this weird brand and the ones that used to be stuck together but now are not. Brave, Sergey Burzin, Dino Cicerelli, Peter Nudbed, Nobody Big. Where did we put these? Right there. We'll grab these two cards. He goes there. Okay, I kind of gave the uh, piles here a quick touch up. They needed it, kind of. I was getting everything disorganized, so. Okay, we're on to more of these middle 90s Donruss. Here's a Lindstrom. Uh, not rookie card, obviously. He's, he's like 91. He's actually the same era as Pavel Bure. A lot of the two together have rookie cards. Kenny Jones. Jeff Reese. Mike Garner. Jose Theodore. Trevor Kidd. Check out them pads. Okay.
Okay, on to the next stack. Looks like some more Stadium Club. Thought that was Gretzky there for a minute. Brian Leach. Another Brian Leach. Just gonna kind of sort through these kind of quick like until we come up until uh Oh, please. That's a Kozlov. No, oh, that's too bad. Victor Kozlov. Don't, don't, don't. I think this is considered a Kozlov rookie card, but I'm not quite sure. If he starts, if it's the same Kozlov. I need to look him up. i set that aside. It's too shame. This card, I gotta probably discard it. Put it over there with the discard. So that's a bummer. Some of the cards you, uh, you know, like look at this one's got like chocolate stuck on it. So I should probably discard that one too. Here's one of these leaf uh, one cards that I consider an insert, but they're not. There's Hatcher, Young, these ones feel dirty, stuck together group, Tony Amante, they're in the stuck together pile for later, stuck together pile for later, there are two in here, there are Here is Joe Sackick. Cool. John Van Beesbrook, early upper deck. I'll put that up here with that upper deck right there. T. Mussolini. Let's flip all these over. Where do we put this signature moves? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we have Ray Bork, Al McGinnis, Luke Robitai, Ray Shepard, John LeClaire, Rick Trebuchet, Ali McNulty, Vivital Yamyakajov, Andre Kovalovko, Mike Richter, Mario Satan. Not quite his rookie year. And then a Vincent Damphouse. Not a bad run in there. Some names we've heard of. Okay, grabbing another stack here. We have some upper deck. Looks like some 90s tops. Here is Fleer Ultra. Set those with those, even though that's not the same year. Dallas Drake. Upper deck. Pinehurst. Make a new stack for it. Dominic Hoshik. Playing for the Sabres. And that's Collector's Choice. Here's a Matt Sundin. Chris Osgood. Here's another one of those EA Signature Move John LeClaire cards. Here's a Pacific. Where did we put those? This card is so messed up, I'm throwing it away. Same for this one. All right. Joe Sackick. Wait. Card goes there. Michael Pivanaka. Signature moves, Peter Forsberg. This thing's not in that, it's a little dusty. But this is in bad shape. Osborne. So Brett Hall's seen better days. I can't tell if those are smudges or not. Pinnacle, I'll put right there. That goes there. 
That can go there. That can go there. What do we have here? These upper deck. This is a very classic year of upper deck right here. Too bad that's got a dented corner. Here's a Papley in collector's choice. Here's a Joe Sacco. Here's a run of Leaf to Mark Messier. It's not a bad card, probably. Keep the Chuck. So those are some nice cards and some big hits. You know, these things are so nasty, I have to throw them on the ground, though. Let's see where those go. This one, no. Yeah, these Leaf, I don't know. I've never really seen those. I'm sure they're around. I just have not seen them. It's this card right here. There's a Kozlov. Six years playing at this point. That one's a little dirty, though. Mike Vernon for the Sharks. It's pretty cool. We have here Pinnacle. Here's Solo. For later or never. What is this guy? Huh. It goes there. Sergey Fedorov, right off the sticky press. Little sun faded, but all in all, it isn't that bad a shape. That's a pretty good win. Oh man. See if I can get them off without breaking it. It's Mario Lemieux. Okay, good. Nice. These two cards might deserve sleeves. They're probably the two nicest ones we've had in that whole set, so I'm gonna set them aside. These are for later. Oh man, upper deck, are you gotta be kidding me. Okay. These are what I'm really trying to get in decent shape. And there's a stupid pinnacle card stuck to it. We'll say we got that one off. Put him there. Now I'm sure we've done this mistake before, but I just mixed up some weird leaf preferred cards with upper deck. See that? Totally different card. So, fix that problem. Here's a Trevor Kid. And a whole bunch of Pinnacle we'll take care of later. Oh, Kidoki, let's grab this stack. Pound through it. Pound through that Frazier. Hey, look at Earnhardt card. Not really Earnhardt, but you know, NASCAR. Some da -da -da. Pacific. I don't know where that goes. Score. I think that goes there. Darren McCarty. Nice. Peter Forsberg, nice. A couple more collector's choice. Oop, that doesn't go there, that goes there. Take care of him later. Take care of that later. Keith Premiu, Alexi Yashin, John Van Beesbrook, Chris, Chris Joseph, Ron Hexall, Ed Patterson, Jamie Baker. Here we have Mark Nonov or something like that. Tucker, Niedemeyer. I'm just gonna skip names just to get this stack done. Look at Mark Messier going to the Canucks. 
bittersweet day for everybody. He doesn't even look happy about it. Hmm. So unfortunately this one is not in good shape. But anyways, put them in the set. We'll check that later. Pro set. Leaf. Newer pro set. Just gonna put it with pro set for later, just like I'm doing with clear ultra. Pinnacle. Alexander McGilney and a Fleer. Let's see if I can get these apart here real quick. Mm, not as fast as I'd like. But there they go. Here's a Fleer. Here's an early score. Those. Uh, I'm gonna put early score just right there. Dominique Koshik. I think this is an insert card. Look at this thing. Huh, I'm gonna set this one up. That one's cool. Okay, where are we at? Can we do these? Oh, these are stuck together. Okay, let's grab a stack right here. That's too big. Put Vergie on there. These are all going to be stuck together. These score ones. Oh man, they're so. The white cardboard and the super gloss finish over time does that. Oh, look what it did, Yammer Yager. No! That's too bad. Okay, I am back. Let's jump right into this. Oh man, these are stuck for another day. Here's some upper deck. They usually come apart all right. Excuse me. Who do we have here? Antrim Shorgapov. I don't know who that is. I can't pronounce his name. Todd Killinger. And Ray Bork. There's a Ray Bork. Andy Moog. Mike Kennedy. Here we have a Montreal Canadian Richie. So that's nice. These are going to go up there for another day. I think these will come apart all right and they go right there. Like that. Once they pop apart, Marco Trevagon and Rusty Fritz Gerald. I do not know neither. All right, we have Matt Sundin right here. Hopefully, it ends up being in decent shape after I give it a freaking adjustment okay didn't turn out too bad Pat Fallon I think I kind of surfaced that All right. Travis Green Jason Gilmore here we go Marty Brodeur that's a nice card to have for that. That's, I think, 97 upper deck. 96, 97, 98, somewhere right in there. Okay. Some late score, maybe 2000, not 2000, I'm sorry, 95 score? 96 score? Matt Sundin. Let's see if I can't. Pop this one right off the press there. Not great, but it came apart. Okay, we're almost to the bottom of the pile. Some of these 
Here's a Joe Sackick base card from Pinnacle, it looks like. Nope, score. That's a nice card. Joe Sackick had a great career with the Avs. Okay. I'm just going to keep grabbing and. Okay. Oh, McGinnis. That is not that. These are the ones that are stuck together really bad. So I'm going to set those all aside together. That's, uh, uh oh, some more shiny cards of people I don't know. Stu Barnes, okay, okay. Mike Gardner, oh, wait. Yeah, Mike Gardner. Okay, so I've barely heard of those two guys. Shiny cards of them. Petterberg, Alexandria, Alexander Petri Berg. Petri Berg? I don't know. Those are the ones that uh, get stuck for another day everybody okay we're down to the last of the last here we have a pinnacle from early 90s Bill Gurren holding the Stanley Cup put that in the later date these ones get stuck together put those over there what do we have in here there's our Patrick Waugh card so I'm going to set that over there to get sleeved. These. Uh, hold on. Here's an upper deck. And there's some stuff to it. So I have to try to use two hands. This is Teppo Numenemenen. <laughs> and then we have Jane McCoon. Janie McCoon. Now we have this upper deck card. McLean, John McLean, McLean, it might be McLean, I want these upper decks apart, Luke Richardson, Tony Amonti, and Peter Nedved, not too bad there. These ones all go up there. This goes there. Oh, Scott Thornton. He goes there. And these are all pinnacle. He goes there. Jim Carrey. Put those guys up there. These are some of my last cards I want to split. These are almost so bad, I'm just gonna, this one's not the end of the world, but this one is. I don't like that card. These are for later. Andre Nazarov. Nazarov. Okay, who do we have here? John McLean. Joe Juano. Bill Gurin. I have his rookie card. Wait. And Michael Scora. Scora? Yeah, Scora. What do we have here? A checklist. Hmm. Pat Vabrique. We have his rookie. Checklist. Ryan Smith, Darian Hatcher. I'm just going to put those up there for later. Okay. Wait, there's some here. I'm not done yet. There's still just a few. Here's Ron Francis. Looks like an upper deck card. Here we have Alexi Yashin. Third year card. Go up there. Turner Stevenson. Grant Marshall in upper deck. Turner Stevenson in tops. 
Okay, sorry for moving around so much here. You have Trevor Kid back there. These are coming apart ever so gently. Rob Niedemeyer. Who is this? Is this Paul Correa's rookie card? No, it is not. I think he has a card that looks similar to this. These are some really rare, not rare, earlier model uh, upper deck. Courtnall, Trevor Kid. Oh, Trevor Kid. Mike Vernon, if it comes apart. Kurt McLean. Sergey Kravinoch, but those go in that pile for later. There's just a short stack of things I've, I've pulled apart earlier that I have not, um, we have not grabbed. This is a completely different score card here. Man, I better be careful. I think that's a key to chuck behind it. There's nothing I can do, folks. When it gets to that corner, I mean, it's just screwed. That's too bad. Discard. Damaged in shipping. So here we have a Konstantinov. That's pretty cool. We have, yeah, I'll go from the top again. Corey Cross and Alexi Co I can't pronounce it. Kovalov. And we have Murray Craven. Here's some Upper Deck. JF Jumpery. And we have Chris Terry. And we have Jeff Chance. And then we have David Oliver up there. Hey, Wayne Gretzky. Sweet. There it is. Dun da da da. We have two Wayne Gretzky's now from this collection. Here's a Sergey Fedorov, completely by itself, in good shape. I'm going to set that over there in the keepers. Richard Park. Roman Hamrock. Murray Craven and I don't know those are for later here's a Dino Cicerelli let's see what we have here on the bottom this is kind of a weird there have been none other of these in the whole hunt to my knowledge just set those all there Castles, okay Down the Here's some other ones too that were not really, this is score like 94 with these balls, 94, 95, sorry, you see that? So I have a little bit of those, I don't know if these are going to be in good enough shape to hold on to, I think they go right there actually, there's been like four in the whole, the whole hunt. These pinnacles have seen better days, that's for sure. Paul Correa in a pinnacle. It came apart not great. That's too bad. I'll put him there. Maybe we can look at it. Okay, I think this is the end of it all. Which we have cards still stuck together. Which are upper deck. And I think we had... Igor Larionov, he became a Hall of Famer, I think, pretty sure he did. Steven Yelly, uh, Jeremy Roenick, and up there, last but not least is this card, this card, and Dimitri something. So, all in all, I can kind of grab 
this stack here, the Patrick Waugh. This is kind of the goodies stack. Things that I want to at least penny sleeve. So let's go right through it, okay? Okay, so the stars of the show. I'm going to just kind of go through these one at a time real quick. We have this base card, Patrick Waugh. We had a base card, Paul Correa. That was stuck ever so slightly. Where are we at here, guys? I'm sorry. So we had a little frosty on it, but whatever. Pretty crisp card. We have a Sergei Fedorov. Summit. I think that says Summit ED. But I have a lot of these that were ruined and, and, and uh, stuck together. So I'm going to keep my hand a little bit more steady in the center here. Here's a Wayne Gretzky from Tops 95, I think these are. We didn't even check yet. Let's take a quick look. I think these are 96. Okay, they show the last run was 94, 95. So this was like 95, 96 season print. Um, it says 95 up there. So, Wayne Gretzky. Here's another Sergei Fedorov. Here's a Valerie Bure, World Juniors. It's not in great shape. Here is a Marslov. Is that how you pronounce it? Marslov Satan. Um, first, first year card? So, Oilers for 62 games. So, I don't think this is his exact rookie card. Chris Prongner, I believe this is his rookie card. Only because it says, like, first round pick and everything like that. I don't know exactly what year this card is. I think it says right here, 94, 95. Sorry, everybody. So, this is probably a Prongner rookie card. Um, it's not in the worst shape either. Here's a Yarmer Yager. This one is the one that didn't get messed up. Here's another Wayne Gretzky. So that's kind of nice. That one didn't get messed up. Here's another Yarmer Yager. Here's a Mario Lemieux. Another Sergei Fedorov. And then I thought this was a uh, insert, but it is not. So I'm gonna put that with the other ones. Here is a Ray Bork in one of these thicker uh, summit cards. This was one of our few inserts and it's chipped. And this card of Todd Merchant, gold medallion edition. Let's look at it in the back. It doesn't look like it's that special. Plus he's kind of a rookie in this card. I don't know, that's why I kind of pulled it aside. Here is Guy Herbert and Brett Hall, but only Brett Hall should be keeping this pile um, for those. Now this is where it got interesting is these cards. Okay, you guys see that? I'm sure you do. These I have a short stack of. And these I would almost consider like last episode black gold and I was confused. I think this is like the, the parallel set going on for Premier. See that? Premier Hockey. Now, or uh, the, what am I trying to say? The Premier logo, let me grab one, from the year before is that triangle one. I don't see one out here. Normally we have them all over. Um, but this is the next year after that, and that, that had Premier Gold or Tops Gold. And these ones do, I don't know what this is called. It's like the Frost Edition or something. But see how we have that. So anyways, we have Bill Holder, Kevin Dean, Peter Anderson, Mike Hoff, Benet Brunette, Steve, Stephen Lebu, Tony Amante, which that one's a not bad one, Doug Gilmore, and a Brian Leach, Fred Drury, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Trenton Cole, put that on the bottom. Stanley Cup Champions, which I hate this card because that should be the Canucks. Okay, that's the year they took it from the Canucks, or beat the Canucks somehow. And then Neil Brotein. Um, I'll put Brotein after a month. So these, I have a couple of these in my own collection, and I will be setting these aside. Um, 
for right now. Let's do that. I'll put them in a, in a team bag. So, other than that, we have a good short, a eh, good short stack of these tops. I don't think this is more than 150 cards. So not in a complete set, but definitely a starter set. Um, I'm gonna clean all this up. Look at this, here's another Yarmor Yager. That one's damaged. That's too bad, man. Some of these cards didn't turn out too good. Some of them, they're just like this. They're like warped. You don't want that. We like crisp cards. These are the ones that I set aside. I'm getting all messed up. It's too bad, huh? Anyways, like, share, and subscribe. We'll be taking apart more collections here uh, probably this week. I have probably six or seven things like this, plus probably four of them are, four more of them are vintage. So I have some vintage hunts coming up that dabble in the middle 80s. So hopefully we have another Patrick Waugh or a Mario Lemieux. That'd be insane to get a Patrick Waugh or Mario Lemieux again. So anyways, thank you much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.